Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to draw light precisely and accurately. Most of us in our beginnings draw flat lighting like this, which is not a preferable thing. So my job here today is to teach you how to draw light like this. So without any further ado, let's dig into business. Alright guys, let's jump straight into Photoshop. As you can see here, this is our model that we will use to draw light and I cut it from the background. Firstly, we need to darken up the brightness of the model so we will create a curves adjustment layer and just decrease the lightness like this very good and don't forget to create a clipping mask by pressing alt and pressing between the two layers next we need to add a very important thing as you know when you are shooting something in the night there should be some bluish color into the skin of this guy so we need to create a color balance adjustment layer and then from the in the matte tones we will increase the yellows and don't forget to create a clipping mask and maybe we can increase the magentas a little bit and the cyan we will do the same thing in the shadows and in the highlights so by doing this we're just giving it a bluish light color as you can see here here is before and here is after this is perfect now let's create a solid color adjustment layer to create this source of light let's choose some warm saturated orange this color and then press ok and change the blending mode into screen and press ctrl i to invert our mask and let's choose the soft rounded brush let's make it bigger like so and with the white color let's draw the source of light so this is our main source of light let's make it a little bit bigger like this very good so now we're getting into the interesting part most of us just create a solid color adjustment layer or a hue saturation giving it some color and bring the blending mode into screen and put it create a clapping mask like so and press ctrl i and with the soft rounded brush just draw light like this so what's wrong about this is it's not interacting with the surfaces or the form of this model when you see it even if you decrease the opacity it's not what happens in reality so this is wrong we need to change it and let's think about it i will create a new layer before we start we can make this light brighter by increasing the brush flow and just put a touch like this so how can we draw light in something like this firstly we need to simplify any shape to specific simple shapes we need to know that any complex shape or any organic shape like the face of this man consists of simple small shapes like if you look at his face you can see that you can draw some specific simple shapes like this a group of simple shapes together forming his face if we understand the shape of his face Face and the shape of his clothing then we can apply lighting on it by defining the planes that are facing the light directly let's try to do this with each other okay the lighting is coming from the left so let's draw the plans that the light should hit so for example let's draw this plan and it will end right here perfect this is his cheek bones this part also light will hit his nose so let's draw the parts that light will hit maybe this part also of the eye you can practice it and you will get better with time but now what i'm doing is just analyzing the planes that the light should face this part also here and maybe of course his ears this part will face the light also this part of his neck so i'm now dealing with his body as a simple shape i'm now trying to simplify the complex organic shape of his face into simple planes and then try to analyze the planes that the light will face so this part also of his neck will hit the light and maybe some parts of this part of the neck also his his t-shirt we need to deal with it as a simple shape so the light will hit this 
space only it will not get into this deep area because it's coming from the left and this part of the shirt will just pan the light from crossing into his neck so also we can apply the same rule into this part but notice that I don't I didn't touch this part it should be dark because these are two surfaces touching each other so the light will not go through this part this part also I guess so as you can see now I'm trying to follow the form or the shape of the body of the tissue or the t-shirt I'm not just drawing the lights with the soft rounded brush something like in an inner glow I'm not doing this I'm trying to analyze the picture and see where the light will hit the guy of course in his hair we will have some light in his hair and the hair will have special treatment because it has some texture and whatever the way we use to draw light inside it will not be easy so we need to draw some reflections manually we will see that very good as you can see here this is around 90 percent of the job because you know if i get the magic wand tool and just select these parts if we selected these parts with the magic wand tool and created solid color adjustment layer like this and then let's press ok change the blending mode into screen and let's hide this part and with the help of the blend f sliders we can erase some parts like this let's split the cursor press alt to spread the cursor and let's move the slider a little bit and from the mask properties we can increase the feather a little bit as you can see here not so much like so now as you can see here around 90 percent of our work is done by analyzing the image itself where is the source of light and where it will hit our shape of course it needs a lot of tweaking so this is not the final result you can get a soft rounded brush if you have a graphic tablet that would be great and if you don't have it never mind you can do the same as what i'm doing now is i'm just drawing with the mouse i already have a graphic tablet but i'm drawing with the mouse to tell you that it's all about analyzing the shapes and then you can draw it with any way you can so i'm now making the flow around six or six percent is good and try to refine the edges make it a little bit smoother like this this part of course this part and this part needs a lot of work here so let's draw some lights here and then let's erase them you need to understand also the value of lightness that you are drawing so the nearest part to the light source should have the highest lighting so we will do this in a moment we're now just trying to refine the edges and by the way if you draw light yourself and refine the edges using the graphic tablet manually i mean this will change the result so much as you can see here here i used graphic tablet so as you can see here i have drawn it better and way better than what i'm drawing now but because i took my time to draw these parts but it it's the same process that I'm doing now let's erase let's define this edge I guess it's very high and this part also have a lot of light so we need to make it lower very good let's make the brush bigger let's draw light like this perfect okay next we will need to add another layer of the same lighting but we will remove the blend if sliders and then press ok and let's get back our our analysis and using the magic wand tool i will just select these parts and here into our main layer we can make the brush smaller and then let's draw lights like so here this is another layer of lighting that will enrich the light itself because we're now not using the blend if sliders so the light will be more intense than the first layer very good 
Now we, we need to refine it. I will speed up this process, assuming that you understand the point. What I'm trying to do here is to blend the layers with each other by erasing the edges or, or making it subtle. We want the edges to be gradient, like so. And of course, the part in his nose, like so. Want to erase these edges here. And of course, this part. And we'll do the same here and here. Very cool. Now we need to do the same thing into the hair, but the hair needs special treatment because it has specific texture. So I will just bring the hard brush and turn on the pressure sensitivity from here. And let's make the brush very small and the flow should be 100%. And we will draw with the white color like so. Let's make the brush smaller. We need here to follow the direction of each here so like this i'm just following the direction don't worry about the shape of the strokes of the brush we will erase it later but now what we need to focus on is just giving it a texture and following the shape of the hair simple as this this will be very difficult, of course, if you don't have a graphic tablet. So I recommend you having a graphic tablet if you are tuned into digital art, of course. Very good. Now let's go to the mask properties and let's increase the feather. Not so much because we need some texture here like this. And with the soft rounded brush, let's turn off the pressure sensitivity and let's decrease the flow to let's say 24 percent let's erase the edges like this any edge that looks odd just erase it and as long as you have time and you can take all the time in the world to make this very precise but here for the sake of the video, I'm just illustrating the technique itself. So as you can see here is before and here is the after. Subtle reflections of the hair. That's all what we need. If you want to increase the effect, you can just duplicate the layer. I think we should have done the hair part into a separate layer, but it's okay. And of course you can also increase the feather if you want, like so. Very good. I feel like we need to decrease this part. You can do the same thing into the other direction as I have done here. And you can add some smoke or other overlays to spice everything up. All right, guys, that was our video today. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really supports our channel and stay tuned for the next episodes. Peace.